Hey there, so let's talk about IBS versus IBD. They sound very similar, and in a sense they are because they're both GI conditions, but at their core, they're very, very different. So let's talk about it. IBS is irritable bowel syndrome, and IBD is inflammatory bowel disease. The inflammatory is key because you have inflammation in IBD and you do not in IBS. Both can have similar symptoms of abdominal pain or diarrhea, but only one, IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, will have blood in the stool, and that's from the inflammation that it causes. IBS is a disease process that's thought to be related to hypersensitivity of the gut and the nerve cells that are within the gut. This, in turn, can be worsened by anxiety or depression or stress. You may have heard of the brain-gut connection, and IBS is inherently entwined with this notion. The GI tract is second to only the nervous system in terms of how many nerve cells that it actually contains. And if these nerve cells are hyperactive or overly sensitive to stimuli, then you can get symptoms of IBS. Classically, IBS causes abdominal pain and changes in bowel habits, that means either diarrhea or constipation, with improvement in that abdominal pain after having a bowel movement. IBS is primarily diagnosed based on the symptoms that the patient is going to report because you should have normal labs and if a colonoscopy is done, you should have a normal colon lining and normal colon biopsies. This hypersensitivity that I've described can't technically be seen on a colonoscopy or with labs, but we know that it exists because these patients get improvement when they're given medications like amitriptyline, which is a neuromodulator that's aimed at treating this hypersensitivity and kind of dulling it down, so to speak. So patients can still get significant improvement with these medications, even though there's no inflammation or lab abnormalities that we're aiming to treat. Now, inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, is an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system is attacking the gut, causing inflammation. This causes physical damage to the intestines, and that's why you see blood in the stool or mucus in the stool as a byproduct. You can see this on colonoscopy, both in just looking at the lining of the colon and on biopsies, you can see inflammatory cells in the lining of the colon and small intestine. You can also get fever, elevated white blood cell count, and elevated inflammatory markers in the blood when labs are checked. Again, this is for IBD. You will not see those changes in IBS. IBD has very different types of medications that we use to treat it. In the case of IBD, we're trying to calm down the immune system. So we use immunosuppressants to calm down that overactive immune system that's attacking the gut to hopefully relieve that inflammation and that inflammatory process. IBS and IBD are both very real, but very different diseases that can both be incredibly debilitating to patients. Fortunately, they both have treatments, but they can be very challenging to treat in their respective ways. The diagnostic process can be similar in that you can get a lot of the same tests, but the results of those tests are gonna be very different for IBS versus IBD. If you're concerned that you might have one of these diseases, I would definitely talk to your doctor more about your symptoms and any potential testing that your doctor thinks might be needed. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any other GI diseases that you'd like me to discuss further. Leave a comment. Also, like and subscribe. Thanks, I appreciate you watching.